All right, guys, welcome back to another Patreon request. And as always, if you would like a Patreon request of your own, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon in the, link, in the link below and hit the fourth tier where not only you can send me requests for videos to do here on YouTube, but also check out all the exclusive content on there. Recently, I had just posted uh, the first of what is called my new podcast series called The Requalizers, which is basically a series where... Essentially, what we do on Requalizers is me and a guest star talk about requels, the reboot sequel match uh, thing that's been trending in the ho in Hollywood, and talk about a requel series for a new move if for a movie series that could use a requel or could get a requel. Uh, the first episode we did was on Jaws. The first episode we did do was on Jaws, and uh, yeah, the guest star was Steen Schinder, who I had. Uh, Guest starred, with, guest starred on his podcast, uh, Delayed Replay, so that's all, so seemed fitting that he would be the first one on here. Anyway, so this, um, this, uh, Patreon request, getting back on track, this, uh, Patreon request comes from, uh, Cyborg19.99, one of his many, one of his many Patreon requests. And basically what this is, is essentially a crossover idea between Blood Plus and Helsing. Now, Blood Plus isn't an anime I have talked about. Um, not because I don't hate it, it's just that I've never... I, actually, no, I think this is the first time I've ever talked about on my channel about Blood Plus. I have at no point ever talked about Blood Plus in any way, shape, or form. It's crazy. Like, it is legit crazy that I have not talked about Blood Plus, because I really do enjoy it. It's been a while since I've watched the uh, original Blood Plus movie, and even though, yes, there is Blood C, we are going with the original Blood Plus anime film in this story, so, you know, just so you understand. Anyway, so, um, so let's get started. Now, this story basically is set, like, I, like Blood Plus itself, is set during the 60s, during the Vietnam War. And what is going on is that there has been a sudden insurge of Chiropterans, the type of vampires that Saya fights. There's been an insurgence in, uh, of Chiropterans deep in the jungles of Vietnam. Like, the Vietnam, we're in, we're in shit creek right now in Viet, this is the height of the Vietnam War and Saya has been deployed into the Vietnam War because of these reports of Chiropterans. And essentially, she is going in with um, a, squad, a platoon of soldiers that are just tasked with, you know, she is a high-value agent and you are dealing with unknown targets. Be prepared for some wild shit. That's all the platoon gets. And when they make it in... Um, when they face these Chiropterans, the soldiers are just getting butchered left and right. And Saya, who's killing her way through most of them, is then discovers that these Chiropterans have like a regenerative ability. Like they're like when she cuts a limb off, it just immediately grows back. She also after but they don't grow their head back, so she's just decapitating them. And and basically what she finds is that there's a weird marking on these uh, vampires, on these on these chiropterans, there's like it's a swastika. There's a like these are literally like they're they're swastikas. So she goes back to the agency, going, so yeah, I found these. But the thing is, is that like yeah, we kind of fit, like we've been seeing like um, soldiers have been reporting weird creatures with a German symbol on them. So we don't know what that's about. But. Apparently, you're not the only person investigating. We've heard reports that Britain has been getting involved in with this situation. Like, Britain is now getting involved. A British organization has uh, gotten involved with this situation, and we don't know if we can trust them or not. I know Britain, you know, U.S. and Britain are allies, but this organization, we don't know jack shit about. They, even the Crown won't give us a lot of details, so go in there... They said they have deployed an agent. They've deployed um, an agent into the area. And they said, like, be prepared. They, all they said was, if you run into our, you know, just be prepared if you run into someone who, um, an agent. They don't know it's another vampire. They don't even know it's goddamn Dracula. Also, since the 60s, this is still Alucard under, Al under Integra's uh, father. 
So this is pre-Helsing. Like, this is pre-Helsing anime. So Walter has gotten on in years. He's But he's still, like, spry. Like, there's still, like, some age... Like, he may be very old, but there's still, like... He can still fight, but he's not here. Alucard is deep in the, in the jungles of Vietnam. And actually, like, he's not... Like, even though he is not tasked with killing Viet Cong, he is eating them. He is consuming them. Like, he is devouring Viet Cong. Um, not just soldiers he runs across or shoot at, or those who shoot at him. He's eating, like, entire villages. Like, he's just consuming anything. Like, because he's away from home. He doesn't have food. So, he's more or less like a predator in a foreign environment. With And there's no natural predator to counter him. So, yeah, he has just gone off on a feeding spree hunting these Chiropterans as well. So, so eventually, as you can guess, Saya runs into him and uh, not thinking he's another, he's one of these evolved Chiropterans, she immediately goes for him and Alucard's like, are you kidding me? I, what kind of species are you? Oh my god, you. And he knows she's not like the rest of the species he's encountered. And he does note that she's quick and her sword does give him like makes him it doesn't hurt him but it does make him go ow it stung so even though yes alucard trounces uh saya in the fight he discovers like all right he's got his gun to her head he's like all right i already know you are you're not you're you're not you're not who i'm looking for all right let's let's sit down and talk because you you have no other choice i we could either keep going like this or i could kill you there's there's really no like in between you can go here kid there's there's only one option here well two options option a we sit and talk or b i put a bullet in your brain and you can't stop me so saya is forced to listen to alucard and alucard does say yeah i was the the british agent you probably heard about that was dropped here i've been deployed for longer than an intel your intel probably figured out i've been here for a month i've been out here for a month and what he's been looking for is hunting these Chiropterans, and he's also find like he's trying to find the Nazi group behind this, and he's convinced it's um, it's but it's the last battalion, it's Millennium. Like he he tells her, look, it's this group called Millennium. They were big in World War II. I believe they are involved in this in some capacity. So you know, and Saya says, well, let's go get him, and Halicard goes, ha ha. I don't work with inferior species. Beat it. But Saya forces him to tag her along, and Saya and Alucard begrudgingly ally with one another in order to find, um, in order to find the source of these new Chiroptrans. And what they find is that it's not Millennium. It is someone. It is a German scientist who is studying vampires and did work with Millennium, but it is not. Millennium directly. It's someone who was working in the wheelhouse with um, with the Major, essentially. His name is Heinrich von Kleiden. So von Kleiden is a Nazi scientist and also who studied, like this guy I made, this, like, this villain is like a straight up bastard. He is a straight up just motherfucker. And von Kleiden is a he was a, not only a Nazi scientist, he was a Nazi officer in um, in um, Dachau, one of the worst uh, Nazi death camps, um, and essentially what he was doing was conducting like these topics, these top secret experiments in these camp in the camps um, on Jewish prisoners, and essentially like mutating them with vampire DNA. Like you know, he was stud like he'd been studying under Millennium. Uh, and the major with all this new like vampire DNA and like twist like using blood and infecting people indirectly and malnourishing them uh, um, and more forcing them to feed on like he'd get uh, like a person so hungry and that uh, like he'd turn someone to a vampire and make them so hungry that he would turn them loose on whatever family they had left within the camp. Like, if they didn't die in the ga gas chamber or from work or whatever, they were basically like, I'm going to turn your brother, your son, in, or your dad into a monster and make him kill you and eat you. Just, yeah, just a monster of a human being. And Alucard believed he had killed von Clyden in, in um, 
towards the end of the war. He had believed him and Walter had killed him, and yeah, he was like, this time I'm going to make this sure this motherfucker's dead. I am going to make... And the reason why Von Clyden is out here now, I forgot to mention, the reason why Von Clyden is out here now in... Um, in Vietnam is that he is under he is under contract by the Soviet Union who are who are basically battle testing these chiropterans under the guise of uh, the uh, of a Nazi but von Clayton's just basically putting his uh, stamp the swastika on these chiropterans so yeah so von Clayton um, is it like uh, is basically making it look like they're Nazi vampires, when really it's more like Russian Nazi vampire. It's Soviet Nazi ram vampire, uh, Soviet Nazi vampires, which is not, uh, which is not better. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, so so Saya and Alucard team up to take on von Clyden, and uh, this time Alucard makes sure he's dead because what he does this time around. Is that he unleashes? Um, but what happened? Uh, von, uh, Alucard corners Von Clyden after Saya like cuts off his arms and legs just so he can be like a stump on the ground. He's trying to like crawl away on his stumps. Alucard like grabs him and drags him away, and more or less he says like, you know, a while back when I ran into when I went to one of your camps to see your <clears throat> handiwork, your surviving. Uh, your surviving uh, test subjects begged me to kill them. Do you know what happens when I kill something and it be it becomes a part of me? And he like just opens himself up, and all the uh, like all the Jewish prisoners and prisoners of war and all these other people that the Nazis had tortured just start climbing out of Alucard and like start ripping von Clyden apart um, in just a monstrous just kill frenzy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, just, uh, uh, just unmitigated gore, and by the end of it, they destroy the factory and part their way, in part ways. So there you go, guys, that is pretty much my, um, Blood Plus Helsing crossover. You, um, hope you all enjoyed this, you guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of it. As always, um, comment below, let me know what you guys thought of this. Thanks, Cyborg19.99 uh, for this one. And like I said, if you would like to have a request done, just hit the link below, hit the fourth tier, and we're good to go. But other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.